Welcome to The Hero Maker. In this series, we follow Richard's appearances on other shows as he talks about how to grow, play, think, and live like a hero. Join him as he discusses thoughts, principles, and life lessons, all essential for anyone building their heroic brand. All that and more, only on The Hero Maker. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I think it's important, and so much so now, like you said, to have that personality, that something that people can kind of have some trust built into instead of just a business name they have that person or that personality uh, that they can connect it with and then it, it builds from there for sure um, but yeah how do, how do we go about harnessing our story for a heroic brand so um, I have a formula and it's a formula okay. that I stole um, so I stole this formula from Marvel Comics, um, awesome. so don't give me credit for it. Um, okay. But uh, so Marvel Comics has a formula they use to build um, heroes. All right. right. And you know, as as a uh, you know, uh, if you are alive today, it's probably you know you know characters like Iron Man and Spider Man and yep. Captain, you know, they're, America. They're, they're Captain America. They're all yep. over our silver screens and you know yep. sell billions and billions of dollars. Um, and what was it? Disney, when they bought Marvel, they returned their investment on merchandising from their heroes in like six weeks or some ridiculous oh, thing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Insane, right? So they've got something um, to how they build a hero. <laughs> and so um, all I've done is just taken what the, those big things and turned them into like, how can we write our stories okay. right? and tell our own story that way? So there's um, there's a few pieces. Um, and let me uh, let me actually pull up a, a quick document so I don't miss any of them. Yeah, for sure. I think it'll be a um, it'll be really useful to cover it. Um, yeah. And if you guys ever wanted to see this, um, it's on my website. Um, it's just the uh, the outline for our our hero show. Um, so what is it? It's a hero and show outline, I believe. I can give you the link for that. Perfect. Um, and you can uh, you can share it so people can see this if they want to uh, write it down. But there's there's basically there's six things that every hero has in common. Um, and so the first one is their origin story, right? Okay. Yep. So um, and you know every good superhero has an origin story, yep. um, and it's it's the uh, it's what made them into the hero that they are, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you know, it's, were they born a hero? Were they bit by a radioactive spider? <laughs> you know, you know. I know you don't you don't you're not a huge fan of uh, of DC, but you know, Batman was not born a hero, right? He right. had to train hard and become yep. he became a ninja, right? You had to train yeah. hard to get your skills. Yep. Um, and so you have you have different ways that you you become the hero. And so for yeah. your story, you're looking at what's your origin story? How did you become a hero, right? And I told you a little mm. bit of mine earlier, yeah. right? I started as a 13 year old and I had my first yeah. government shutdown, right? And <laughs> I I tell that story a lot and I practice that story and I get better at telling that part of my story because it's part of like the foundation of how I got started as an entrepreneur, right? Sure. And so you have you have your origin story. Where did the, what was that radioactive spider that bit you and said, you know what, I'm gonna do something different than the rest of the world. I'm not gonna go to school and get a good job and get good grades, I'm gonna go and you know, I'm going to go and uh, and start a business and do something different, yeah. right? Um, so, yep. what's the uh, the origin story behind, you know, who you are and what you've become mm. and where you're going, right? Um, so that's the first one. Awesome. The second one is your superpower, right? Uh, yeah. So. Every iconic hero has a superpower, whether that's you know a fancy flying suit made by your genius intellect or the ability yeah. to call down thunder from the sky <laughs> or your super strength, right? In the yep. real world, um, heroes have what I call a zone of genius, right? It's a okay. skill or a set of skills that you're either born with or you develop over time that energizes all the rest of your skills, all the things that you can do, right? Wow. Um, and so what I look at is it's the superpower that sets you apart and allows you to help people slay their villains your products mm. or services, right? And help awesome. them come out on top on their own journeys. Yeah. Right. So your superpower, um, I, again, I like to look at it as it's the thing that really energizes everything else. So I'll give you an example just with me because I think it, um, uh, you know, I know mine really well, so it's easy to, <laughs> to yeah. talk about. Absolutely. Um, and it wasn't until someone actually sat down, one of my mentors actually sat down and said, hey, like, what's the one thing that you're really, really good at? Right. And um, I had a hard time answering that question myself because I'm good at a lot of things and I've gotten really good at a lot of things. Um, and what's interesting about that is like, for me, the thing that I'm really good at is I'm really, really good at systems and processes. So good that I actually like, I see systems where other people just see action, right? They see things being done. And I see the systems behind what's going on. So like, uh, I can watch someone draw something and see all the things that they're doing to make certain things happen. And I can pick up drawing as a skill from watching someone else do it. Nice. Right. Um, and, you know, I, so I, I have this little thing I do every like six months or so. I, I pick up a new skill just for the practice of 
yeah. learning things. Yeah. Um, right. And like, you know, last year I sat down with a piano and I couldn't read music and I couldn't play the piano. And I started with uh, an app called Musician. It's a plug for them. They're really okay. cool. Um, awesome. And uh, I spent about six weeks learning the piano. And at the end of six weeks, I could read the music, sheet music, and I could play <laughs> melody lines one-handed on the thing and my wife is like how, how the f do you do that in six weeks it takes <laughs> most people like a year to learn how to read music right um and um so anyways like for me my my the skill behind my skills mm. right that's your zone of genius yeah is for me it's systems and processes and so being able to pick those okay. up and design them and see them and stuff like that so everyone has something like that you have a skill that really sets you apart for my wife it's um it's a uh, empathy Right. Mm. She is able to put herself in someone else's shoes and feel them and understand them in ways that is just insane. Right. I, my business yeah. partner is that way as well. Um, and it's like next level empathy. And what's interesting is those those kind of skills, they, they allow you to do all sorts of um, all sorts of things. It's really what energizes you to do yep. um, other things and pick up new skills. And there's there's something in there, something that you have. That's your superpower. Right. And this is yeah. where, um, you know, you have to ask yourself that question. Ask like your five or ten, you know, closest friends, and ask some strangers that you know that just have a, a, a minor relationship with you. What do you think? Hey, what do you think my superpower is? What's my zone of genius? One thing I'm really good at. You'll get interesting responses, and what you'll find sure. is if you can look at the commonalities between how people respond to you, you'll see the you'll see the thread, the thread huh. of commonality, and that's where you'll see you're like, oh, you know what? That that's probably the thing. Um, cool. And you know, it can take you a little while to find, but once you sort of nail mm -hmm. what it is. Um, and you start building your business around your superpower, right? That's where um, our push button podcast came in, is being able to build those right. systems up, um, you know, because that's where I, my, my skill is, is building the systems um, and implementing those systems, stuff like that. Then you can grow your business a lot faster yeah. because you're building it yeah. on something that you're really, really good at. Strengths, yeah. Um, so yeah, right. I, and you know, there's there's a lot of things that people talk about. You know, you should shore up your weaknesses and, and you know and, and ignore your strengths kind of thing. And I, I sort of like if you, if you want to shore up your weaknesses, hire people that have those as strengths yes. and focus on your strength. Absolutely, right? I agree. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it so makes more sense. It's simpler that way. Absolutely. So the third thing is your distinct personality, right? Mm -hmm. And your distinct personality is, um, and this is something that we don't talk about on the show a lot because it's kind of it's hard. It, it's ethereal if that makes sense yeah. but your distinct personality is is your personality turned up to 11 okay. right when you're on stage right if you've ever been through um a theater class and they tell you like hey you have to make your face big enough that the person in the back and yes. you know the 500 they need to be able to see the, yep. your emotion yep. right and so when you get on stage right and we are on stage all the time as a heroic brand right you know sitting on podcast like this or yeah. you know, going onto your YouTube shows, or actually speaking on stage, or interacting with your clients, whatever it is that you do, anytime you're engaging with your business, you need to turn the dial up a little bit on your personality, right? right? And yeah. so that's that's um, turn up a little bit of, of you know wh whatever the qualities are that make you who you are, right? Make you okay. um, part of your your brand, your personality, right? And you can see that it's done in comic books all the time. Right. Uh, you see, you know, Tony Stark is uh, is snarky, funny. Yeah. And what's his name? Uh, Peter Parker is all, you know, he's the teenager who's always in his head and cracking jokes. And uh, yep. um, and what is his name? Deadpool. Deadpool's always, yeah. uh, you oh, know, yeah. cracking, you know, below the belt humor and stuff like that. Yeah. And yep. their personality, their personality is cranked up to 11. Right. There's no questioning yeah. who they are. Right. And if you want yep. to look into the marketing world, take a look at people like Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins, you know exactly who he is. He's always on fire. He's always got energy. Right. That's yep. part of his brand is that distinct personality same with uh dan kennedy right dan kennedy was known as the no bullshit guy and if you ever heard him up on stage he's always talking no bullshit and this is just the way it is he's quick and he's short and he's to the point and there's no bullshit in what he says right right if you met the guy in the real world he's a teddy bear but his brand was no bullshit right yeah. that's part of his distinct personality so um what's interesting is you can choose who that is for you mm. right um it works best if it's authentic with your character. Right. Right. Because then you're not playing someone on stage. You're just yeah. being yourself at a little bit higher degree. Yeah. Um, but you can actually totally play up a, a, a different character if you want. Um, sure. So I find it easier to just be me at 11. Be authentic. Sense. Yeah. <laughs> at a higher level. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's your distinct personality. Cool. Um, okay. So the next one is your um, fatal flaw. That's the flip side of your superhero, your superpowers, mm, right? Yeah. And you know, so your fatal flaw, you know, just like every Superman has his kryptonite. You know, Wonder Woman can't remove her bracelets of victory without going mad, right? We all have our fatal flaw, 
Right. And your fatal flaw is what humanizes you to your audience. What's the thing that you are not good at? Where's your mm. weakness lie? Um, and where's your vulnerabil- vulnerability, right? Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, this is a, um, I don't mean to get too terribly political, but oh, President yeah. Trump just spoke the other day, right? Um, in, where was he? Tulsa? Um, and I watched his, sure, yeah. his thing. Um, and one of the things that he did is he told a story on stage that was very, um, it was a very like vulnerable moment where he got up and he was talking about some of his own weakness stuff. And there's one of the reasons why he's so popular with his base is because he has that ability to show his weakness, right? Um, yeah. So, so anyways, for for any of your distinct personality, um, having the vulnerability that humanizes you is what's going to, especially, especially if you're in any sort of business that you're helping people one-on-one like coaching yep. Yep. or if you're selling people education it's almost more important than if you're selling physical products or if you're selling other goods and services um people have to believe that um that a that you're a superhero but b that what you have is achievable yeah right that you don't have some sort of you know magical abilities that are outside of the human's you know scope of experience right that right. Uh, um so your fatal flaw humanizes you and it lets you uh um come in and actually uh, be a little bit who you are um, and then there's there's two more pieces. Um, yeah. So the next one is your common enemy. Your common mm-hmm. enemy is what you fight against. It's your arch, arch nemesis, right? Every superhero has their arch nemesis. It's a thing that you constantly have to fight against in the world, right? If you're uh, familiar with Frank Kern, Frank Kern is fighting against this idea yep. that you, uh, um, you know, you if you put money into a funnel that you can, you know, you should be able to get two dollars out. You put money in, get money out. So he's like, he's like, he's fighting against this idea that uh, paid media is not a way to generate income, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, um, so like you, you always have like, what's the thing that like, what's the enemy that you're fighting against? Right. And right. for me, one of the things that I'm constantly fighting against is this idea that, um, and I mentioned already, like that entrepreneurs are not heroes, mm. right. Yep. And they're, they are, in, they are in fact heroes, right. Entrepreneurs aren't villains, they're heroes. That's the thing that I'm fighting against. And what I do is I help people build their heroic brand, right? That's the thing that I help them do is build, build yeah. a heroic brand and then build their content machine that really drives their sales and stuff like that. So um, it really helps solidify your message, right? You know, Absolutely. the thing that you're fighting against, the thing that you stand against, it makes you a little bit polarizing, especially if you can take a really clear stand against something. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, when you're polarizing, you attract audience, right? It pushes away the people you don't want to work with and attracts the people that you do. Yeah. Um, so. There's that, and then of course the flip side of that is your driving force, right? Your driving force is your common um, is uh, um, the thing that you're fighting for, right? It's your mission, your yeah. stance, right? So just like Spider-Man is fighting to save New York, or Batman fights to save Gotham, or Google fights to index and categorize all the world's information, <laughs> yeah, right? You have something that you're fighting for in your business, yeah, right? And so that's the mission that you have, and it's the thing that you're constantly talking about, right? Um, and yeah, you know, for me. Right, it's it's about building that heroic brand that allows you to. And in my case, I particularly am we're, we're looking to help people get their lives back from their business. All right, so we talk a lot about you know building your brand, building your systems, um, building your team, and that kind of stuff that allows you so your business doesn't take over your life and support your life. Right, um, so you have things that you're fighting for, um, and that's that's really it. That's the uh, the pieces of how you put together a heroic brand. Right. Uh, um, or, uh, you know, like your your brand story. Right? Yeah. And that's all that's all very ethereal. If you want to hear the rest of this discussion, please check out the link to the full episode in the description below.